Hey guys, welcome back to Factory Fresh. Today we're going to be going over a frame swap I did in 2020, um, 2021 between a 1969 Ford F-250 long bed and a 2008 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. The orange truck was beautiful condition, uh, very little rust, if any, just some surface rust. And uh, the Crown Victoria is also in great shape. So very high end stuff, all ride tech suspension, Corvette brakes, GT500 rotors, TMI interior uh, turned out to be beautiful original paint uh, or paint color I repainted everything everything was done in the three-car garage all the mechanical bodywork um, painting it was uh, it turned out amazing as you guys will see so if this sort of thing interests you don't forget swing by the channel like subscribe watch some videos lots of frame swaps up to uh, LS turtle stuff and even 2016 Mustang GT uh, swapped with a unibody Ford so some pretty fun stuff check it out Alright guys, so we're at the portion where we're shortening the long bed down to a short bed. Matching the wheelbase of the Crown Victoria. A lot of questions on this, so I kind of want to go over. You can see we cut around the stake beds. You're going to take 16 inches out of the front, leave a little seam in the front, go around the stake beds, take 16 inches out. As for the back of the box, really whatever you want to take out, you can. Matching it to a short bed, which would be 4 or 5 inches, I believe. Um, or leaving it a little long if you want it to be kind of a medium style bed. So once that's right, your box will fit. You put the cab on, you, you mount the front clip, center the wheel, wheels and the wheel wells, preferably wheels a little bit towards the front of the wheel well, and then do the same in the back. And then you can build your chassis mounts to the cab and the box and the bed.
All right, guys, so we finally have a running driving vehicle. Uh, decided to step up the performance a little bit and added some Ride Tech suspension coils and adjusters and shocks in the back and Viking coilovers in the front. Um, added a lot of suspension adjustability, and it's based off the Motor Trend Television Crown Hick build. The brakes are GT500 rotors and Corvette calipers. Really stepped up the handling of the truck.